How's it going, everybody? It's Josh KI6NAZ. Got a quick video here. Last week, when we did the last live stream on getting started with ham radio, there was a couple of questions on buying used gear. I just so happened to go out this weekend and I found a couple of great used items that I want to talk to you about. And then at the end, I'll give you some other ideas on where you can buy used gear that I have used in the past. And uh, at the very end, I will give you what I think is one of the coolest ways to find used gear. And it's an online resource that you can watch or pay attention to so hopefully you stick around for that all right let's get started <laughs> we kind of went on a date night my wife and I and it started out going to HRO she proposed this I promise and she wanted to check out what they had there and then it, it ended going to Goodwill and I found this Sporty's AirScan 5 at Goodwill. This is a pretty pretty comparable um, airband receiver. It has this uh, BNC connection here for receiving airband. And you can just leave it on scan. It also has a pretty good AM FM. Pretty good. Pretty loud. And the number one reason. And then of course it still does airband as well. So that was seven bucks. The last time this came up on Universal Radio, it was like forty-five dollars. And the last time it was sold on uh, QRZ, it was sixty dollars. But at HRO, I went in there and I was uh, curious about actually getting a tuner. This is an uh, LDG. AT1000 Prol Auto Turner Tuner Prol huh? or Pro 2 <laughs> Prol <laughs> It's so this um, was about $150 off of retail. It's lightly used. It works. We powered it on, and so great deals. HRO for consignment and Goodwill. Sometimes you get very lucky. So. Those are a couple of places that you can get used radio gear. Not just amateur radio gear, but used radio gear. I like Airband since I'm on the flight path of uh, Los Angeles International. So, anyway. So I'll say right up front, finding good gear at a Goodwill is very rare so that's not a number one go but if you have a wife like mine or a significant other that likes goodwill we go there occasionally uh, she looks at clothes i go straight to the electronics and see what i can find you can generally find a radio or two uh, in this case a airband scanner this particular scanner has the feature where you can listen to an am uh, am or fm station and it will jump in with airband when it's on the frequency that you're monitoring kind of cool it's pretty low thrill but for six bucks who who really can you know complain about that now I mention it but I'm not necessarily going to recommend it but only one specific case uh, eBay and I have uh, been okay most of the time I've had an okay time buying stuff off of eBay but I will recommend there is a website you can google them ham and hi-fi and the link will be in the description they uh, will basically buy an entire estate of ham radio and then resell it on their eBay store they have a website that works with their eBay store and so you can find their equipment they have for sale there they generally have reasonable prices and the quality of the gear that they are selling is you know generally workable and, and okay they have a pretty good customer service service from what I understand as well. I've never had to use it, but you get the idea. So if you're into ham radio, you've probably been on QRZ.com. QRZ.com has a for sale forum, things that people are looking to sell and things for people looking to buy. And um, I've used it multiple times. I've generally had good experiences. This is me talking. I've used it probably less than five times. So I'll just throw out that my review is not completely objective in this case. Every time I've used it, it's been successful. I know there are stories where people have not had that great a time, so your mileage will vary. Be cautious, be wary. Uh, use something like PayPal or something where you're not, you know. Anyway, you know what to do when you buy things online that isn't like Amazon. Okay, so here's my big, my big recommendation, something you can watch 
pay attention to online, and you can get some really good deals on radios. Universal-radio.com. There is a used radio section, and it is just a text sheet of, of text, lines, words, whatever, of radios that they have for sale. Very minimal information. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. At least that's how I look at it. Now, um, you got to you gotta know what you're looking for, or you got to kind of know what the product is when you see the name of it. No pictures. They have a used site for pictures. We're talking about just their sheet of used radios. And I have found all kinds of stuff. In fact, let me let me show you. Uh, for instance, <laughs> I found my Sony ICF SW100 on UniversalRadio.com, and uh, yeah, so these this is kind of like a unicorn shortwave listening radio. So you can find some really good deals on Universal Radio, but I will leave you this with this caveat. I treat it more like a treasure hunt, like I'm going to go over there and not knowing what I'm going to find, maybe find something cool. If I was looking for a very specific radio, don't know if that would be my first choice. It'd probably be on my list, but it would probably be after I hit up some other things first. So I hope that was helpful to give you some ideas on how to find used amateur radio gear. I'd love it if you post your thoughts in the comments below, both if you try these or if you have another idea of where you can go find used amateur radio gear, mainly online. Of course, you can go to a ham club if you're so lucky and maybe find some stuff that way. But yeah, post them in the comments and I'd love to see it. I am Josh KI6NAZ. I'd love it if you hit subscribe and maybe give me a thumbs up if you like this. We have a very active Discord and Facebook community and the links are in the description for both of those for the ham radio crash course where they live there. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.